Hi all, Weston here from Zero Sum Gamers. That's right, Nerds for Knowledge is no more. The channel has evolved and so must we. But in recognition of this new look, this new uh, personality, we are going to be launching a bevy of new series in addition to the board game reviews, which we will now continue now that the new year has started. Uh, the first of which is our gaming new show, Chit Happens. Can't even take myself seriously. Board game news with zero objectivity. That's uh, publisher, Dutch publisher 999 Games has announced that they will be bringing back a big box edition, or I guess bringing out a big box edition of El Grande, which is really awesome. It's kind of the premier uh, area control game and it's had a bunch of expansions to go along with it. They said that everything will be a part of that box. I didn't even realize this. It's going to be the 20th anniversary of this game. I mean, it's a lot older than I thought it was, um, which means it would have come out when I was, like, eight, which is crazy. Um, next, FFG, Fantasy Flight Games, Battle Lore 2.0 is a game I really like. Very good game, uh, great light war game. But I always felt like it could use a few more miniatures, you know, just a few more toys to play with, let's be completely honest. And guess what? They are bringing them out. Now, like any good game company, they actually announced this months ago and said it was going to be out in December. But, like any good game company, they didn't actually give us the product in December because why would they? We're still going to buy it, right? But they have previewed on their website the new red army units, the Uthuk or whatever they're called. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head, but they look awesome. Um, the Doombringer and the Berserker and the Blood Sisters, I mean, they're all the sculpts. If that is what they're going to look like, look ridiculously awesome. Uh, I'll put up a picture somewhere there, if possible. Um, but yeah, I mean, they look great. The stats look great. I'm very interested to see how they play. It looks like it's going to be a lot of bleeding and drawing energy. And yeah, very, very interested to pick those up whenever they come out. Also, this has kind of gotten me excited because I pretty much always play the good guys, as I do. Um, and so I'll be interested to see the previews for that side. Uh, Rio Grande has announced Dominion Adventures, the ninth expansion to Dominion. Did it need another one? I mean, nine, that's, that's a lot. But, you know, they're not normal expansions. They're, they're additions slash expansions. And, and what I mean by this, obviously, those of you who play it know, these are games that can be played on their own, but can also be put in with the initial game. And so it adds a lot of variety. Do they need a ninth expansion? That might be overkill. Move on to something else. But Dominion... And, and I think part of the reason I say this is Dominion is not my favorite game. Do I think it's a bad game? No. No. Is it a great game? Yes. Did it kind of define a genre and get it started? Of course. Deck building owes a lot to that. However, I think that it has moved on and there are a lot of other good deck builders that offer more. They may not offer the exact same experience, but they, they it has evolved from where it is. Uh, and so, I don't know. I kinda, I'm kind of meh about that. I didn't really think I needed more than one or two boxes of Dominion. Now, moving on to Kickstarter. This is this is going to be kind of interesting. So, Tiny Epic Galaxies is a micro game. It's a very small, it's like, you know, 30 minutes or so, made by Scott Alms, I think, and put up by Gamelin Games. It is the new sibling to Tiny Epic Kingdoms. It has been on Kickstarter for a little bit now. It's got 22 days left. They said they needed like 16, yeah, 16,000. And they have gotten 237,660 so far with 22 days left. That is insane. Now, part of it may be that the game is so small and doesn't require that much. So you're like, hey, 16 bucks. It's mine now. And you get a bunch of people to give $16 and you have a lot. But of course, people are going to give more because they want all the extras and the specials and the deluxe. I, it, I just find it very interesting because it's a small game, but it's making a lot of money. So, you know, good for Gamelin, good for Scott Holmes. Uh, the Dice Tower, meanwhile, has 17 days left, and out of its 60 grand initial goal, it's so far received 147,416, so 100, almost 147 and a half thousand dollars. 
quite a bit. Uh, enough, and I was excited about this, that they could hire Z Garcia full-time for this year. So that's really awesome. Um, for those of you who don't know, I don't know how you wouldn't. The Dice Tower is kind of the premier, I mean, other than uh, Board Game Geek, is kind of the premier board gaming resource for people. Finally, we have Mayfair. This is ridiculous. Um, okay. Mayfair. Really good game company. Very well-liked game company. Make lots of good games. Um, <laughs> they have currently Cones of Dunshire, Cones of Dunshire, however it's pronounced, on Kickstarter. This was a joke from Parks and Recreation. It was, it was supposed to be just a funny joke about, you know, this person's board game and, and that they made. And, you know, it was funny and ha ha ha. You know, it's how people, a lot of people actually see board gamers. Uh, but Mayfair is now with Cone Hill, uh, I think, bringing out a deluxe edition. Really, it's the only edition, but it's deluxe because it has nice pieces. But this is ridiculous. It needs 300000 in order to kickstart. There are 58 days to go, so it's been out very, very shortly. It's so far received 12000 of that 30000 which, yeah, not as much as Tiny Epic Galaxies, obviously, but still quite a bit for what is essentially a joke, especially since in order to get the actual edition from the Kickstarter, you have to pay $500 minimum. That is the reward level to get the game. That is insane. There is literally no game that I would pay $500 for. And I mean, I'm a person who loves collectibles a lot. I play Pokemon. I play Magic. I play... Uh, Star Trek Attack Wing. I play Dungeons & Dragons Attack Wing. I like my collectible games. I would not pay $500 for any game, much less for a game that is literally a joke. It started out as a joke. It will continue to be a joke. And I have to agree with the people on uh, Board Game Geek on the forums because I had to look this up and just see what people's reactions are. And I'm glad that they mirror mine. This is a joke. And somewhere that writer, the person who wrote that, is laughing his butt or her, laughing his or her, butt off because I am I'm flabbergasted it makes the entire board game community and I'm sorry maybe I'm taking it a little personally it may it but it makes because this is a well-known thing it makes the entire board game community seem like a joke when some real company is backing this kind of crap it's ridiculous there is something about this the fact that these games are being supported um I think it's healthy. I think it's a sign of health in the board gaming industry and in the board gaming community, and I think it's growing, and I think it's a good thing. But I also think that Kickstarter, maybe it's just me, I think Kickstarter should kind of be reserved for people who actually really, really need the money. I understand it's all business. People are going to back what they're going to back. But consider what you are backing when making those decisions. I think that's pretty much all I have for today. Anyway, yeah, I'm super super excited about the Battle Lore. See, look, here's all I wrote for my notes. FFG, Battle Lore, Warband of Scorn, Smiley Face, because I'm pumped about that. Well, I'm Weston, and this has been Chit Happens. It's been nice talking to you about the news. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. I would like to hear from you in the comments. Let me know how I can improve this show. Of course, there are a million ways. But, uh, yeah, until next time, have a nice day night, whenever you're viewing this, and go out and play some games. See you soon.